In this section, we'll be taking a look at the two different forms in Angular, then we'll add validation for user input. Let's define the two different types of forms available in the Angular framework. So Angular provides two different approaches to handling user input, and that's with template-driven forms and reactive forms. So template-driven forms are useful for adding a simple form to an app, such as an email list signup form. They're easy to add to your application, but they don't scale very well. If you have very basic form requirements and logic that can be managed solely in the template, then you'll want to use template-driven forms. So in short, if you have a small application or just an application that does not rely heavily on forms, then you'll probably want to use template-driven forms. Then you have reactive forms, which are more robust. They're more scalable. They're also more reusable and testable. So if forms are a key part of your application, then you'll want to use reactive forms because they'll give you way more control. Both types of forms share four main principles. That's form control, form group, form array, and control value accessor. So form control basically tracks the value and the validation status of an individual form control. This can be an input, a checkbox. Now a form group is basically a group of form controls. And then form array is just an array of the form controls. And then the control value accessor creates a bridge between a form control and a native DOM element.